our group number is 14 and the name of our topic is e-payment method so these are the content of our slides that we will going to present the so first we will look, going to look at what is e-payment then we will going to look at some of the problem that traditional payment method uh, is dealt with and after that we will going to discuss some of the different e-payment methods in brief and last we will going to discuss what are some of the advantages and disadvantages of e-payments so first we will going to look at what exactly is e-payment so an e-payment or an electronic payment system allow customer to pay for the service via electronic methods these are also known as online payment system normally e-payment system is done via debit card credit card direct bank payment and e-checks other alternative e-payment method like e-wallet, bitcoins and cryptocurrencies are also gaining popularity. So these are some of the problems that traditional payment method face. Some of them are like uh, they do not have enough cash on hand like 40% of the time and 36% of the time is like ATM machines are down or not easily accessible. Late payment fees is also a problem and long queues at uh, ATM and bank payment and bank or money transfer is of 39% of the time. These are the different type of e-payment methods. So first one is credit card, second one is debit card, a third one is smart card, fourth one is e-cash and the last one is e-check. We will going to discuss this uh, briefly and that will be discussed by my friend Ravi. Yeah, good afternoon, sir. My name is Jamshankar Chaudhary. Okay, now we discuss about the one payment method is credit card. Uh, credit card is generally a plastic and metal card used for pay item and saving using credit card. Credit card uh, is, a, um, is a charge interest on the money spent. You spend money and after some time the uh, interest charge on apply on your amount. And the credit card may be issued by any bank, uh, store and other financial institute and any other types. Next slide. So, so, so. Now, a, another method is debit card. Debit card is a, also a plastic metal card. It is also provided by a, a, a bank. Bank debit card purchase can only use made by without a person. Identify number is a PIN, and you may be charged an ATM transaction fee if you debit card and withdraw cash for ATM. It is not not affiliated with the bank and issue your card. And next slide. So and uh, another method is a smart card in this type of card is a physical electronic authorization device used to control data accessing and data manipulating it is a basically a plastic embedded with a integrated circuit and one of the smart card either a memory chip oh back slide yeah a smart card is a system that pro no no sir, sorry back slide okay a smart card system has proven to a more reliable than other mechanism readable card like the magical stick and the broad code. The next slide discuss my friend. Thank you Ravi. Good afternoon sir. My name is Soman Chaudhary. So my friend already discussed uh, the different type of e-payment methods. So I will discuss the last two methods of e-payment. So e-cash e and e-check. So e-cash. E-cash was an uh, electronic platform created to transfer funds and it was a cryptocurrency. And eCash was created by David and implemented by his company of the Digi Cash in 1990. eCash worked uh, on the uh, blind of the signatures, message content is invisible before signing, resulting is in no user being able to link of the withdraw and spend of the transaction. And despite the initial interest bringing large banks on the board of the uh, use the systems, and eCash never of the fully took of the Digi Cash built by the bankruptcy in 1998. And next, go to the next slide. Next is the e-check. So an electronic check is a uh, form of payment method made by the internet that uh, is designed to perform the same function as a conventional paper check. And generally the cost associated with issuing and uh, an electronic check uh, are lower than those associated with the paper of the checks. An electronic check has more of the security features that uh, standard paper checks and one of the more of the frequently used person of the electronic check is the direct of the deposit system offered by many uh, employers. Next my friend of the South is continue the slide. Thank you sir. Uh, 
Good afternoon, sir. My name is Satish Sado. So, we, uh, in the remaining side, uh, slide, we will see what are the advantages and disadvantages of the uh, e payments. So, basically, the e payment makes our life very easier in the terms of speed of transaction, convenience, and uh, reaching global audience, and also the load transaction cost if you see the speed of transaction uh, it, now that time seller and customer can uh, easily assess, uh, like payment pay for their the purchasing and in it any time and uh, it's also saved a lot of time because we don't have to uh, uh, stand in the queue in the bank uh, for the for the uh, for the check and for any other things but also it makes very uh, life very convenient because the people can also pay the gst bills and their the electric electric bills and uh, all other uh, bills easily in their home by using their smartphones to and also collect the correct amount of cash of if, uh, if anything anyone had pur purchases and also uh, by this e-payment we can also uh, easily reach to the glo uh, global audience with, uh, if i am uh, using my mobile phones i can easily pay to the uh, pay payment to the uh, online payment uh, uh, to the people of the bangladesh and the other my neighbor countries also in the uh, other nations uh, through the e-payment uh, it makes very easy at our life and also the low transaction cost uh, uh, in the tradi traditional methods we have to uh, hire an employee uh, like a cashier who can manage all these things like uh, uh, payments uh, transaction but uh, during this online uh, payments and there are several apps which, which makes our life very easily an automated environment because here we can easily payment uh, anything and uh, also check the history what is uh, what are the credit credit rate have and debit rate happen all these things we can check easily through the e-payment next slide but uh, sir there are, are the several advantages but uh, some of the disadvantages of this e-payment uh, first of all this is technical problem uh, as uh, everything is uh, uh, happening through the through internet and uh, we know that the internet can uh, shut down due to several costs like the natural hazards and the uh, many other things so that's why that times uh, uh, online payments and take well several times and uh, sometimes server downs uh, so it also takes us uh, many times and uh, sometimes stuck our money uh, in this uh, due, due to this uh, technical problem and also uh, as we are using the more, more uh, through the e-payment the uh, password threat threats also very a uh, big problem because uh, uh, people can easily theft our credential and use uh, it for the their uh, advantages and it also uh, not good for the uh, us and also the cost of run uh, just as more and more people are shifting to the online payments as we can see that they are uh, not using the traditional method that's why the uh, like uh, hackers uh, uh, easily uh, hacked our device and like uh, our OTPs and all these things like phishing attack data exploits and most of these attacks are increasing day by day in India. Uh, that's why the uh, government are, had passes many laws to tackle this problem. And also there is a te 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 technological illiteracy. Uh, and most of the people don't use mo uh, smartphones in India as of now. We, uh, that's why if I getting the smartphones and the uh, e-payment methods, uh, so they uh, like don't know how to use this. Uh, uh, apps so that's why it is also a big problem for nowadays in india so technical uh, technological uh, illiteracy so people have to uh, learn how to use this and it also make our life very easy next slide so uh, it, uh, last uh, that is our conclusion so basically electronic transfer funds have been around for many years and uh, economic and the economy has greatly benefited from the technological advances but uh, electronic payment a system such as credit credit card has facilitated monetary that's why the like bitcoins cryptocurrency all these uh, uh, things come in the uh, 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 picture and also it is uh, also uh, it helps in the virtual economy however the also the risk or risk of identity thefts market uh, euphoria privacy issue also uh, exist but as, as history has shows as many te uh, te new technology can cause the uh, irrational ex exuberance that only leads to the overvalued security and ultimately in the financial collapse that's why very fintech companies are uh, uh, using are uh, accepting now uh, and helping uh, to solve this problem like theft problem and all these things and but uh, uh, we can solve this problem with the new innovation and proper uses and financial technology can be the key to the successful managing one's money next slide Thank, Thank you, you, sir. That's thank you. Yeah. Very good. Very good presentation.